a moment's doubt, a second thought, what he was about. But the game of confidence he laid out was drugged. I said drugged. With expectation. No coincidence, no happenstance. The silver tongue wasn't there by chance. Hidden glances and sham romance and shrouded, shrouded calculation. He made it all so possible to believe, but the perfect package was devised to deceive. His face never revealed what was being concealed. Every day, manipulation. Well, the hour grew late in that dark cafe. No more words to waste, no more wine to taste. He had sized her up, he had tamed his prey for some common copulation. He knew a place nearby called the Jane Hotel. They took Horatio to West Street, and he rang the bell. In the room, he grew convinced that her resistance fell. Because every secret he was seeking, her body was eager to tell. He got drunk on all her passion and nodded off under her spell. He later woke up quite confused because he was all by himself. He looked around and saw the note that she had left upon the shelf. It read, fare thee well, and fare thee well. It said the first was for goodbye, the other means I played you well. She had absconded with his gold watch and his alligator money belt. Cause every rapture knows some pain and every heaven goes through hell. All alone there he felt beaten like a man in a cell, a man in humble, humble isolation. He, I said, he, he never had a moment's doubt, a second thought what she was about. But the game of confidence she laid out was drugged with expectation. She made it all so possible to believe, but the perfect package was designed to deceive. Her face never revealed what was being concealed every day.